Hello good people, thank you very much for tuning once again today. I'm so happy guys and I welcome you back to our channel. Today we're looking at Candace Owens and we are looking at this incredible child who's giving a speech guys. Guys, let's see what this is all about. Thank you. I want to get to this young boy because it's so strange to think that we've jumped into a society where people, where, where children are getting into trouble for acknowledging reality. And this really happened to this young boy. He was sent home from school. He is only 12 years old and he was sent home because he wore a t-shirt that said, there are only two genders. This is a Massachusetts middle school student. His name is Liam Morrison. And I want you to listen to him recounting this in his own words to the school board. Take a listen. In the seventh, 10th grade at Nichols Middle School, I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. I never thought that the shirt I wore to school on March 21st would lead me to speak with you today. On that Tuesday morning, I was taken out of gym class to sit down with two adults for what turned out to be a very uncomfortable talk. I was told that people were complaining about the words on my shirt, that my shirt was making some students feel unsafe. Yes, words on a shirt made people feel unsafe. They told me that I wasn't in trouble, but it sure felt like I was. I, told, I was told that I would need to remove my shirt before I could return to class. When I nicely told them that I didn't want to do that, they called my father. Thankfully, my dad supported my decisions and came to pick me up. What did my shirt say? Five simple words. There are only two genders. Nothing harmful, nothing threatening. Just a statement I believe to be a fact. I have been told that my shirt was targeting a protected class. Who is this protected class? Are their feelings more important than my rights? I don't complain when I see pride flags and diversity posters hung throughout the school. Do you know why? because others have a right to their beliefs just as I do. Not one person, staff, or student told me that they were bothered by what I was wearing. Actually, just the opposite. Several kids told me that they supported my actions and that they wanted one too. I experienced, wait, no. I was told that the shirt was a disruption to learning. No one got up and stormed out of class. No one burst into tears. I'm sure I would have noticed if they had. I experience disruptions to my learning every day. Kids acting out in class are a disruption, yet nothing is done. Why do the rules apply to one, yet not another? I feel like these adults were telling me that it wasn't okay for me to have an opposing view. Their arguments were weak, in my opinion. I didn't go to school that day to hurt feelings or cause trouble. I have learned a lot from this experience. I learned that a lot of other students share my view. I learned that adults don't always do the right thing or make the right decisions. I know that I have a right to wear those five, a shirt with those five words. Even at 12 years old, I have my own political opinions and I have a right to express those opinions. Even at school, this right is called the First Amendment to the Constitution. My hope in being here tonight is to bring the school committee's attention to this issue. I hope that you will speak up for the rest of us so we can express ourselves without being pulled out of class. Next time, it may not only be me, there might be more students that decide to speak out. Thank you for your time and good night. Just such an incredible speech. Uh, so well written. It's, it's, he's delivering it in a, a very good manner. And here's the reality. If you are a child and you follow the rules, if you are a child and you, be in rea and you believe in reality, you now can face consequences at school, right? Because they are so worried about accepting mental illness that they're starting to punish people who don't have it. I like that he points to the fact that people are allowed to fly their pride parades. That is their belief. Maybe this young boy is a Christian. Is he allowed to say that he finds it to be disruptive to his learning environment when he sees somebody wearing a pride flag? Absolutely not. They would tell him that this is a, this is a protected space. The truth is, is that they're willing to protect every strange mentally ill group, but they will not protect people who believe in reality. That's the truth. That, that, that is the entire circumstance in America, that if there's nothing wrong with you, you are somebody that is a threat to everybody else. 
and we are living in a live insane asylum. I love that he talks about how there's disruptions of people, fist fights, people that are arguing, people that are talking in class, and nobody cares. He has to sort of deal with that circumstance day in and day out. And yet he wore a shirt, a basic fact. In fact, he shouldn't have had to wear it. He should have been learning it in school. <laughs> he should have been learning in school, the school that you're sending him to, if the school is basing its self in reality, if it's basing its lessons in reality. These are things that he shouldn't have had to wear, but that he should have been being taught. I worry about what it is that children are learning now in schools. I, th I think the overarching theme is that your feelings matter more than the facts. And him being sent home is an absolute atrocity. I'm proud that his father supported him. It's the number one thing that I encourage to my listeners. If you are a parent to a young child that is in the school, you need to be their partner, and you need to be their greatest defender. It is the only way that we get to combat this lunacy. So kudos to his father for supporting him and then taking it a step further to make sure that what happened to this young boy was heard by the entire school board in Massachusetts. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for future notifications. Oh, I'm surprised too about this issue. The young children are being exposed to a lot of things that I don't know what is happening at this age, but God forbid we need to take care of this young generation for us to see a better future, a better tomorrow, or with the many developmental things like AI, and a lot of technology, they are really endangering our future and also eroding good values from these young guys, young kids. So this is a very, very, very beautiful talk that we need to take further in this society. Thank you guys for watching and see you again. Please subscribe to my channel.